Hi there, it's Mrs. Tucker. And today I am going to read our new story, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. Let me talk a little bit about the story first before I read it. Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble is what we call a realistic fiction story. If we've read these kinds of stories before, it's been a little while, but we've read this kind of story before. Remember, a realistic fiction story is a story that could happen in real life. It's not true, it's fiction, which means it's still fake, but it's real enough that actually a story like this could possibly happen. So as we're reading, we're going to look for characters who are acting like real people, and we are going to look for things like settings that could be a real place. Now, our author is also our illustrator. So the author wrote the book and drew the pictures. And our author and illustrator for this story is Marianne Coca Leffler. And it actually says that many of Marianne Coca Leffler's books are based on her own life. So that's what makes it realistic fiction. She writes stories about things that have actually kind of happened in her life. Clams All Year is about the time she went clam digging with her grandpa following a big storm. She wrote Jack's Talent after a boy said during a school visit that he had no talent for anything. And the tie loving Mr. Tannen was the principal at an elementary school that the author's daughter, two daughters attended. So Mr. Tannen in our story, Mr. Tannen's tie trouble is actually a real person. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why it kind of makes this story a realistic fiction story. And as we're reading through Mr. Tannen's tie trouble, our essential question that I just want you to think about is how can helping others make you feel good? And this is a really good time to be thinking about how you could help other people and how that could make you feel good. Now notice in the picture, there are a lot of ties in this picture. I kind of like this one. This is a donut tie. So without further ado, let me read Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. Mr. Tannen loves being the principal of the Lynnhurst School. He also loves ties. In fact, he has almost 1,000 crazy ties. When Mr. Tannen returned from winter vacation, he received a call from Mr. Apple at the school department. Mr. Apple told him that because many things at the school had to be fixed, there wasn't enough money left for a new playground. Mr. Tannen sadly hung up the phone and gazed out at the broken down playground. He heard a clink clank. He looked up to see Kaylee and Alex lugging in a big jar with, filled with money. Here it is, $148.29 for the playground fund, said Kaylee proudly. New playground, here we come, cheered Alex. Mr. Tannen didn't know what to say. After school, Mr. Tannen sat in his office staring at the jar. He sighed. Now I'm in a real pickle. This is not enough money for a playground. The kids will be so disappointed. Mr. Tannen's words floated around in his head. The playground will have to wait. You'll think of something. I wish our account was as full as your tie closet. Hmm, as full as my tie closet, repeated Mr. Tannen. He jumped up, opened his closet, and shouted, That's it! My ties! Lindhurst School will have a new playground. The next day, the entire town was plastered with signs. Mr. Tannen's tie auction, Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Lindhurst School, a tie for any occasion. All ties must go. Mrs. Sweet Apple noticed the sign on the grocery store window. She called her husband, Mr. Apple. Why is Mr. Tannen selling all his ties? Has he gone crazy? Mr. Apple told her about the school budget and the playground money. The town was buzzing all day. 
Mrs. Sweet Apple called Monsieur Bijou at the bakery. Who called Cleo at the cleaners? Who called Dr. Demi the dentist? It went on and on until Zach, the night watchman at the zoo, got the word. Mr. Tannen is selling his ties. On Saturday, the whole town showed up for the auction. Monsieur Bijou started the bidding. I'll give you fifty dollars for the donut and Danish tie. Lolly, the librarian, bought the book tie. Dr. Demi was the proud owner of the toothbrush tie. Kaylee handed over her entire piggy bank for the hot dog tie. Mrs. Sweet Apple just had to have the wedding bells tie, and of course, Mr. Apple chuckled as he paid quite a bit of cash for the crab apple tie. The auction was a huge success. Every tie was sold except one. Mr. Tannen couldn't part with his beloved blue ribbon tie. It was a present from Mr. Apple for being a great principal. He looked out at a sea of townspeople all wearing his ties. Thank you all. I have always taught my students, the more you give, the more you get. With this money, the Lyndhurst School will have a new playground. Mr. Tannen swallowed hard. My ties now belong to the town. Wear them proudly. And throughout the spring, that's just what everyone did. Ooh, hold on here, friends. I can't get the page to turn. But sometimes Mr. Tannen would forget his closet was empty. He would open it to get a tie, and with a tinge of sadness, he would remember. He only had one tie, and he was wearing it. Then he'd look outside at the playground being built. You have to give to get, he thought. Soon, it was opening day at the new playground. Mr. Tannen had invited the whole town to the ribbon-cutting ceremony. He tucked his speech in his pocket, grabbed his special scissors, and adjusted his tie. He wished he had on his official ribbon-cutting tie. The schoolyard was overflowing with people. Mr. Tannen made his way through the crowd. Then he saw it. Mr. Tannen's playground. The playground was tied in a giant ribbon made from Mr. Tannen's ties. Mrs. Sweet Apple and Mr. Apple were at the microphone. Mr. Tannen, you have taught us all. The more you give, the more you get, said Mrs. Sweet Apple. You have given us a playground. We are giving you back your ties. With that, Mr. Apple untied the tie ribbon and announced, Mr. Tannen's playground is now open. And that is the end of our story today, friends. Oh, I'm sorry, nope. Mr. Tannen and his ties were together again. He slipped on his swing and slide tie and smiled. That now is the end of our story, my friends. So, in our next lesson, I will read through the story again, Mr. Tannen's Tie Trouble. And I will stop and pause and ask some questions and give you some answers. And we'll think about the story a little bit more in depth than what we did the first time. So, thank you for listening. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye!